Hello everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of Smothered Season 2 Episode 1. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're one of my peeps, welcome back. Now, I thought the show Smothered was like basically the mama all up in the daughter's business. Like every time a daughter turn around, the mama there. The daughter getting her nails done, mama want to get her nails done too. Daughter getting her hair done, mama want to get her, her hair done too. Going shopping. Well, everywhere the daughter go, mama want to be there and go too. And it, I thought it was more of on the mama wanting this. But no, it seems like this show is like... The daughter wants the mama around and they doing activities that like a lot of people, I'm going to say a majority of people don't do. So we starting off with Mary and Brittany. These two shower together. Yeah. They in the same shower washing each other's hair and scrubbing each other's back. Now, even when I had surgery, my mama wasn't in the tub with me. My mama stood outside the door in case, you know, I needed some help. But she didn't get, you know, in the tub with me. And they just act like this was the most normal thing ever. Like, I couldn't even see if one of them was already in the shower. They both getting ready for work. And they only had one bathroom. Like, hey, leave the water running for me. So when you leave out of the bathroom, I can hop in. And I don't have to just and find a hot water that's nice. You know, the hot water's already running. I can jump in after you. I can see that. But they in the bathroom, in the shower together. No, no. Well... Brittany, she is missing, like, a gene to where she went through puberty early. Like, she went to the puberty at the age of five, which made her an outcast amongst people. And I think that may have a little bit to do with it. You know, mom wanting, you know, be there for her, you know, daughter growing up faster than what, like, she was supposed to. But Mary got a husband, and Mary's husband thinks it's weird how, like, close they are. But Brittany, she doesn't care because Brittany didn't even go to the wedding. And he does, she doesn't understand why her mama's husband want to spend so much time with her mama. I'm like, um, did your daddy want to spend time with your mama? Um, how is it weird that the husband want to spend time with the wife? In her opinion, that's weird and he's jealous. That's where her mind is. Brittany thinks it's weird that her stepdaddy want to spend time with her mama. Okay, I'm not going to judge. Then we got Angelica and Soon He, Sun He. They too like to take baths together. And they've been doing this since Angelica was like a little girl. Like they both in bubble bath together. No, not in, I, I take that back. They not in the bath together. They share bath water. I apologize on that one. They like to share bath water. Like mama hop in and wash herself. And then Angelica gets in that same water. No, because once you done wash yourself, all the dirt of the world and all the dirt that is on your body is in the tub now. So now your daughter hopping into like dirty water trying to get clean. No, I seen a family like that on the cheapskates and like the whole family, mom and dad and a few kids all share the same bath water. And I was like, that just made me grow, grow from my right shoulder and get to doing one of these things. It's like, like, no ma'am, no, we don't share bath water. That's nasty. But anyway, some he's talking about how some, if she ever did get married, she want to get married to a man like her daughter Angelica. And Angelica should get married to a man like Sun he. Like, we're going to marry somebody who is acting like each of us. And I was like, that is weird. Now, Angelica got, has a boyfriend, but he's married. But they've been separated for, like, the longest time. And, like, son, he, she, she kind of sort of stressing out because Angelica did not, you know, say goodbye that morning. Didn't tell her where she going. So, she didn't die going to, you know, started tracking Angelica and tracked her at the nail salon. Like, went through her phone, like... Okay, where my daughter at? Oh, wait, she at the nail salon. Why is she at the nail salon? I'm not at the nail salon. She didn't say bye. She didn't give me a kiss. She didn't do anything. She find Angelica at the nail salon with her boyfriend. So you know she hot as fish grease. Marsha wakes her daughter Elena up by licking her. 
Yes. Wake up. No, we're not using the alarms up out of here. I'm waking you up because I'm licking your face. That's, and and Lena says she feels close that way because that's not normal. I was like, see, I don't want nobody licking on me. No, I'm just thinking your breath's stinking. You may have just brushed your teeth, but in my mind, your breath's still stinking. I don't want to wake up like that. But I guess she, um, Marsha feels that since she, you know, didn't give Elena a dog, this is the next best thing of, you know, waking you up to lick you. And also, they like to run around the table, like, playing cat, like... That's not catch, but like playing tag almost, like running around this small table. It started with Elena was little because um, she didn't have a lot of mobility, so that was like helping strengthen her. But like they just kept it on ever since you know she was little. Um, but Elena says Marcia saved her life. She was in an orphanage and she was crying. She needed somebody to hug and love her, and there was nobody there. And when she got um. Once Marsha went to the orphanage, she was basically like, Mama, like, hope, and, like, was holding out her hands. And Marsha's like, that's my baby right there. And it has been the two of them since. But Marsha, um, Elena has a, an ensign deficiency to where she needs weekly treatments. And if she doesn't get those re weekly treatments, um, she could die. And I was like, oh, I mean, it's good you did get adopted. But, you know, I, I, that whole licking of the face, yeah, we, uh -uh, I'm not trying to do that. Now, Mary, her husband, Frank, is ready for Brittany to leave the nest. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, because Brittany, one, she doesn't, she can't make decisions on her own. She call her mama, what should I eat? Not, not, where's a good place I can go to eat? And I know, what should I eat? Should I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Sandwich. Should I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Or should I get a turkey on Swiss? And Swiss uh, turkey and Swiss sandwich on white. What should I get, Mama? Like, which what should I eat today? Now, Brittany, she gets to their little shop, and Frank asks, "What is her next step? Like, what do you see yourself doing? You're trying, you're at the police academy, you're trying to do that, but when you gonna get up at this house? When you gonna get up out of our house? Now, Brittany thinks he should leave because y'all not even legally married, so I don't know what you're talking about. Like, she sat there for a good, like, few seconds, like, she was trying to comprehend what he was saying, and she was like, um, I think you should leave because you guys aren't legally married. How about that? And I was like, oh. Now, since Marsh, what's her name? Mary, since she is married, I'm wondering, I mean, it seems like she's the only one married. I don't know. I haven't. This is my first season watching. My first episode watching. So I don't think Sonny had the husband, and I don't think Marsha had the husband. Like, but for a husband stance, um, um, coming into this relationship, did like it was their signs. Like maybe I shouldn't, you know, marry her because they a little too close. And if I try to kick her out, kick the daughter out, you know, Mama gonna be mad at me. Now Mary already said. I I don't think you should move out. That is all Frank, baby. You can stay with me till we both old and we uh, in a rocking chair with no teeth. That's how Mary's feeling and Brittany's feeling the same way. But she's like, I think you the one should leave because y'all not even married. I was like, oh. Now, Kathy and Christina, they are not so far from what I'm seeing are not as bad as everybody else. They're not sharing baths. They're not sharing a shower. They're not licking on nobody. They're not doing those things. But Kathy, she lives five houses down from her daughter. And that is still almost too far away. Like, every morning she gets in her car and just backs down five houses. I was like, ma'am, you couldn't drove forward and got there faster because you trying to drive looking in your real room mirror. That's taking away time from your daughter. I was just joking on that one. Now, since Christina and her husband, Carlo, are going to be remodeling their house, Kathy wants them to come stay and move in with her. Now, Carlo don't want to do that. He want to rent them a house and get his done because he's not trying to stay with the mother-in-law. He's not trying to do that. Now, both Kathy and Christina's like, yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's something wrong with him to where he don't want to stay somewhere rent-free. Is it he don't want to stay somewhere rent-free where he's stressing out and your mama doing this, that, and the third. That's why he don't want to, you know, stay at your mama's house. She, she over here every single day. And if we there, it's like we never going to get rid of her. But... 
Cassie, she's happy because, you know, they're expanding on their house. That means, like, she's going to get an even better view of them inside of her house. I, I'm assuming she got some binoculars so she can just, like, peep on them while she's not at their house. I guess. I don't know. Now, Mary talk about Frank did a very, very bad thing before they got married. And after the ceremony, she ripped up the marriage certificate. So, yeah, they are not. They are not. They aren't married. Now, the producers, you know, they asked him, what exactly do you do? You, um, is, are you feel comfortable explaining? He's like, yeah. I, me and my boys, like a few days before the wedding, we went to a strip club. It was a nude strip club. I got a private dance from a girl. Nothing happened. I actually threw up. But basically, he went to a male strip. He went to a strip club, a nude strip club, not male strip club, a nude strip club. The woman gave him a dance. He threw up, came home, watched porn, and masturbated. But to her, he cheated on her because he lusted after another woman. He cheated. Now, if Britney had found out what Frank did, Brittany would have killed him. But I was like, he, he didn't cheat on you. But she says, since he lusted after another woman, he cheated. I was like, okay. So, Kathy and Christina think it's a good idea to go um, ambush, you know, Carlo at the gym. So, she didn't, she didn't want to look stupid and just wearing her regular clothes. So, let's go back into my closet and to the time cats of 1985 and get all of those things that I used to wear back in 1985 and just throw that on right now because she don't want to look stupid. Now, Kathy wants to ambush him slash see what's going on since he be at the gym like three hours a day. Like, your body look nice but not three hours a day nice. So, she want to see what's going on. That, that's where she at right now. And they get there. He's like, why are y'all here? Like, this is my time to get away from your crazy mama. He didn't say that. But, like, I'm assuming that's how he feels. Like, this is, like, one of the times when your mama ain't at our house. And this is where I could get away at. And now you done brought your mama here to my, you know, peace, my peace and tranquility, my Wusa area. That's how he looked like he was feeling. Now, Sunny... She didn't, like I said, she didn't found her daughter, Angelica, at the spa on a date with her boyfriend. But I'm like, I guess mama felt like I could join too. You got your um boyfriend, you got your um your dog there, so I can come there too. So she's like, I guess I'll get me a pedicure too. So she just sits down next to them like, this is what we supposed to do. Y'all on a date, I'm on a date too. So... He presents divorce papers. Now, he thought this would make Angelica happy because Angelica, he proposed to Angelica, but Angelica's been wearing the ring on her right finger because, like, you still married, dude, so I can't be saying you my fiancé. I'll call you my boyfriend, but not my fiancé because you're still married, even though you and your wife been separated for a long time. But son, he thinks is important that she and Angelica attend the divorce proceedings as well. Like... It's important that we be there. First of all, Angelica don't need to be there, let alone you. So he's looking like, this is not how I wanted things to go. I wanted to show you that I'm getting divorced tomorrow. Proceedings will be done tomorrow to show you I'm in this all the way. But now your mama want to go and you jumping on time. I said, yeah, that is a good idea. Like, no. But Sunny says a part of her doesn't want the papers to be signed because she don't want Angelica to have a man. Well, at least not him. She wanted Angelica to have a man just like her, which is creepy. So, I got this. I was supposed to film this tomorrow, which is Tuesday, because I usually film Marriage Medicine LA on Mondays. But for whatever reason, they just showing a rerun, a rerun of the episode where Kendra had her um, housewarming party, but. Toya and Quad was comment commentating on it. I don't know. I don't even know if I said that right. They was um commenting. We're gonna say that. They was giving their opinions on the episode. So I was like, I don't know what that's for. It's like, are we trying to stretch things out? See, I I decided to do smother. I know I'm all over the place because like my main shows they're off until September, maybe longer than that. Love and hip hop, we don't know when that's gonna come back since you know 
the pandemic then started. So I'm trying to get into some other, some, into some other shows. And this show was like, like, what next do y'all do? This is going to be like, really, this is how y'all get down? But anyway, y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. So with my beautiful face puts up a video, you can click on it, you can like it, you can share it with your people, and you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. Now, this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.